Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn how to make a frequency distribution table using telemarks. In our previous class we have learned about telemarks and we know that in telemarks we used vertical lines for uh, representing the frequency and we make bunches of five. Like if we wish to represent one, we take one vertical line. For two, we make two vertical lines. Then for representing three frequency, we make three vertical lines. For frequency four, we represent four vertical lines. And for representing five, we make a bunch of five by making a diagonal line over the four lines, right? So this way we use telemarks for making the frequency distribution table. So here I'm going to take up one example. So the question says, given below are the ages of 30 students of class 8 in a school and we are given this uh, numerical data and the numerical data is 13, 14, 14, then 12, 15, 15, 14, 13, 13, then 14, 14, 15, 13, 14, 14, 12, 14, then 13, 12, 13, 14, 14, 13, 12, then 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. Right? So we are given these 30 numerical figures and uh, we have to prepare a frequency distribution table. So first of all observe this uh, given data and you will see that we have the observations. So these are basically the ages. And if you see the age, it is either 12 or 13 or 14 or 15. And age is given in years. So we will write age in years. So this is the first column. Now in the second column, we would be marking the tally marks as per the observations which are given to us. So one by one we will be considering. So first is 13. So I am putting a tick mark over here and you will see I put one tally mark in the column of tally marks against the number 13. Next two are 14. So I will put two tally marks in front of 14 under the column tally marks. Then I have 12. So you get 1. After this, 2 15 are there. So we will mark two vertical lines in front of 15. After that, 14, so one more in front of 14, then we have 213, so we would mark two vertical lines in front of 13, then we have 214, so you see here I am marking 114 here, one line in front of 14, so it makes us 4. We need to mark one more, so we will make a bundle of five. So this is how we mark a 
diagonal line. So we have covered up to 14. So next is 15. So we will make one line. And next is 13. We will make one more line in front of 13. Then again 214. So we will put two vertical lines in front of 14. Then a 12. So you do this. Then a 14. You mark one more vertical line. Then 13. You see here we have already 4. So we have to mark one. So we will make a bundle of 5. After that 12. One line in front of 12. Then 13. Okay. Then we have 2 14. So you see here 1 and a bundle of 5. Then uh, 13. You put one line. And then 12. You put one line in front of 12. Then 13. You put one line in front of 13 and then uh, 12. So you put a horizontal line to make a bunch of 5 and then 13. Again we put one mark, one vertical line in front of 13. Then 14. Okay, we have marked one line. Then 15, one line in front of 15 and last is 14. So we take here one line in front of 14. Now we are going to count and write down the frequency as per the tally marks which we have marked. So first one is, you see there is a bunch of 5. So we write here 5. Then 5 plus 4 gives us 9. So there are 13 students whose, uh, there are 9 students whose age is 13 years. And then here 5 plus 5 plus 2. 12 students have age 14 years. After that, there are 4 students who have the age 15 years.